so here's another little synthesizer project that will go nicely with other DIY synthesizer projects on this channel, including the super simple modular case, the sequencer, the filter, and the oscillator. Now it's time to make an envelope generator. What the heck is an envelope generator? Here's an envelope. And no, an envelope generator has sadly nothing to do with an envelope. But this envelope is very useful to draw on and show you what exactly it is. So let's zoom on in on here. So what's an envelope generator? Well, you've got the oscillator. And you've got a filter. And some of these parameters within these things require adjustments over them, over a certain amount of time. An envelope of time, to be specific. Mm. So this envelope controls things that's going on here. For instance, the filter cut off, like the wow. You can make that go wow constantly with an envelope because the envelope makes a control voltage over a certain amount of time. And the certain amount of time is judged by the parameters on the envelope generator. This envelope generator that we're building today has two parameters. It's got one knob that's attack and one knob that's called release. So there's two knobs. The first one actually controls the start of the envelope. So if you push a button to make this envelope start and this is at zero, the actual voltage that comes out of this envelope will be maximum straight away but if you turn it up a little bit it will take a little bit of time to go from zero up to the maximum point and if you put it on max it'll go Woo, it takes ages to get there and if you think of this as pitch it'll be Woo, instead of beep. and then after the attack the release happens and the release is a bit at the end of the envelope so let's put a knob there so if that's on zero and the voltage is on max it will just go straight down when you take your finger off the button but if you turn this up, it will start trailing off. So for instance, if the attacker releases both on zero and I push the button, it starts straight away and stops straight away. Now I'm gonna turn up the attack. But it still disappears straight away because the release is on zero. So let's turn up the release. I don't think I'll be able to tour and play music and write songs on synthesizers if it wasn't for the envelope generator. And what we're going to do now is we're going to build one. Right, so fast things first, go and find this picture. It's on the website, actually. There's a link in the description. And then you start looking through and collecting all the pieces, including the panels, the switches, the resistors, the capacitors, and all of those things. Remember, that's a lovely illuminated push button that's actually got a light inside of it. Now you start drilling a panel, and then you spray it off into the black hole of the irrelevance. Yeah, lovely. And then you start doodling this black hole of irrelevance do whatever they want because you're the artist you could do whatever the fudge you want just do it okay and then he starts soldering all of the bits onto the strip board maybe you should check all of the other video projects that i've got in this because there's a lot of tricks and things to do and how to not make a mistake but you know you'll be fine i trust you just make sure you're sharpie where it's going and then cross out everything you've done and just double check double check and then Double check again! And then you'll be okay, I guess. But like, this is a little bit long, but you know, just follow what it's doing here, it's lovely. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to start putting all the things into the panel and then solder wires going from those pieces. And then you need to carefully place those wires onto where they're supposed to be on the strip board. So you connect them up like a lovely, lovely marriage of mechanical and electrical loveliness, I guess is the actual term that we're looking for. Like brimstone and fire. Screw those things together like a lunatic and then double check it works. If it doesn't, then look back at it, scratch your head, wonder what's wrong. And after a while, you can admire your lovely working envelope generator. Look at that. Oh, look at all those wires. They're a mess, but whatever. It's lovely and it works. Oh, my God. There we go. That's what an envelope generator looks like in real life. Nice and nice and easy. So this right here is one of my old touring cases. I stopped using cases this narrow about 10 months ago when I decided to make them a little bit wider so I could fit more things into a box. So this has actually just been sitting around kind of doing nothing. And it's got loads of stickers from loads of gigs and stuff. Oh, it's pretty cool. It's so like, it's got a lot of history on this thing. I couldn't give it away if I tried. All I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna put the super simple DIY projects into here. So I can kind of show you what you could get if you build all of these projects together. It might be fun. So here we go, they're all in the case. The oscillator. Ooh. 
The oscillator, the filter. The sequencer and the envelope generator. The links to all of these project videos are in the description. So if you want to make these, then, you know, go crazy. There's even one for the case. So here's the oscillator. Woo! What I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug the envelope generator out into the CV input of the oscillator. And then this. And I'll do it with a bit of... This is a really easy thing to build. It's called a passive attenuator. In fact, there's four attenuators here and basically these knobs decrease the amount that this thing affects other things or the amount that anything really affects anything. The layout of how to do this is here. And all it is is just a 100K potentiometer and two jacks and you're able to control how much or how little something is being affected. And I'll just put that one here. So the attenuator is in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug this into the input of the attenuator from the envelope out and then plug it from the attenuator out into the CV of the pitch. And now I'm going to start on zero on this. So now I'm going to bring the attenuator up. But now let's plug it in so the oscillator is going into the filter. So now we're going to have the envelope generator controlling the filter knob of the filter. Okay, that's all well and good, but what about if we don't want to just constantly be pushing this button? Why don't we trigger that button with another kind of trigger signal to make this, you know, a bit more musical? So that's where this thing comes in, the drum brute impact. I brought this along to kind of like play a drum beat and then sync this up to the clock out of this. So every single clock out of this, it kind of tells this thing to do its thing. As well as trigger the sequencer to move along another step, which will control the pitch of the oscillator. So I'm going to plug the clock out of this into the step forward of the sequencer, as well as into the input of the envelope generator.
there we go. It's actually quite simple to make a musical analog synthesizer voice. All of the information including the strip board layouts, the parts, where to find them, as well as a more complicated version of it is available on my website. So go and check that out. The links are in the description if you want to build that. I actually did a builder's live stream of me building that exact one whilst I was filming it from start to finish on my Patreon. That's still available up on the Patreon as well. And I will be doing builder's live streams much like that in the future with other projects so you can look back and watch it in real time uh, you know if you had any questions of how it was done. Over the next month I'm going to be shooting some videos on a lot of different things that I need to build for my tour which is in Germany at the start of May. There's information on that down in the description as well. And also in about five days, very exciting, I'm actually going to be releasing my first song under Look Mum No Computer. It's, I know it's taken a while, but finally there's something out, so keep your ears peeled. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and don't be scared to try it.